Hello friend, here I am welcoming you again to my channel. Now today's discussion is uh, the conversion, convergence and divergence of the lengths. So we know we have two spherical, uh, the spherical lenses are of two type. The spherical lens are of two type. One is convex lens and another one is concave lens. So for convex lens if you will draw the ray diagram you see this is my convex lens. This is my principal axis. Now suppose a ray, two rays comes parallel to the principal axis then they will always meet at focus so they will pass through the focus so this is the knowledge what we have now if you place the screen over here just try to understand this is a screen I am placing it then this two point we will get as the two refracted beam similarly if you take the screen away then you see what is happening to the refracted rays or refracted beam. The distance is decreasing. Now if you place the screen at the focus, the two rays will converse. Then after that what will happen? If you go on, if you place the screen over here, you see now they are, further the distance between the two beam is increasing. So now this is first knowledge what I am giving you. Then the second one is your concave, concave lens. Now for concave lens, this is the diagram. This one is my concave lens. This is my principal axis. And these are the two rays which are parallel to the principal axis. If these are the two rays parallel to the principal axis, we know this is a diverging in nature. So this is diverging in nature. So this, uh, we, we get the focus like this by extending it in the backward direction so this will be the focus but this is not our way of uh, this is not our concern if you place the screen here you will find this two point or this these are the two points uh, which represents the ray in which direction the ray is passing similarly if if you go on Displacing the screen, this is the screen I am telling you, from the uh, lens, you see the divergence increases. That means the two dots that I am plot plotting over here, they are moving far away from each other. So right now we are going to see this one by doing the experiment. You see, I have, this one is a, this is your, convex lens this is this one now this one is my concave lens you can see here this the width is middle one is less the side one is bigger the width so let's do the experiment I have chosen a thermocol and I have mounted here this is a convex lens I have mounted after that we will do the concave here is the here is the laser I am going to use let's just mount it now first of all let's just press this uh, laser Let's just press the laser and see that this is my screen. I'm just using this one to be my screen. Just press the laser and see that these are the two points where the light rays are uh, converging. Now you place this one, this lens, on the path of the beam. You can see this is the two images. Now I am just taking it towards the screen what is happening you see the two images are just going to merge at this point means this is my focal length 
this distance is my focal length after that i have as i have told you if i'll take the lens further towards closer towards the screen now you see they are further apart what is what i have told you in the diagram first at if you are keeping it exactly at the focus the screen is exactly at the focus the two rays are meeting then if you further take the screen away they are diverging now this is my focal focal point or focal length you can calculate this distance to be the focal length i hope so this is clear now next thing is let's just mount this concave one here i have just mounted now you see this is the distance between you can see the image in the screen i am just taking this one this concave lens in front of the laser what is happening you see the distance they diverges you take closer the screen uh, closer towards the lens now as i have told you if it is closer the distance decreases but they will never meet so this is what is called diverging lens you see you can see it this is the diverging lens and the convex one is the converging lens this one is diverging this one is converging so this is all about our today's discussion thank you everyone i hope so all of you have enjoyed